The woman accused in a brutal Green Bay murder and dismemberment case remains competent to stand trial. It comes nearly a year after her first competency hearing. In a first alert update, Brittany Schmidt tells us when the jury trial for Taylor Shabusiness is expected to now begin. Taylor Shabusiness is escorted into a Brown County courtroom by three armed guards Friday for another competency hearing. This is a serious case. There's serious allegations. There are the allegations are bizarre and unusual and something that not too many people have ever seen before. This time, her new defense attorney, Chris Freilich, gets the chance to question the court appointed expert about a competency report filed four months ago prior to Freilich's involvement in the case. His testimony is certainly relevant, but it's stale. Freilich argues the report doesn't take into account the business's outburst last month when she attacked her previous defense attorney in court. In terms of that, that behavior that was, was displayed during that hearing, it, it could certainly be caused to, to have concern regarding one's mental status, although I, with the information available, I could not rule out the possibility at this time that such behavior was most fundamentally volitional in nature. Judge Walsh says she business remains competent to stand trial and aid in her own defense. He set a trial date for July 24th. In an effort to prevent another delay, the judge wants jury instructions and verdict forms from the defense and prosecution to be filed by April 21st and for all motions to be filed by May 24th. It doesn't mean that I'm, I'm going to not let you submit them. But I'm going to be less inclined if there's no particular reason that you didn't do it earlier other than you just didn't get around to it. So I, I want everybody to look at these dates and try to keep this case on track. Shabusiness has entered a plea of not guilty by reason of mental disease or defect. She remains behind bars on a $2 million cash bond. In Brown County, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News.